up on Speed Week, the close of summer brings an end to a streak. A closer look at a drag racer in trouble. And Nigel prevents his teammate from closing out the rest. This and more next on Speed Week. The GTO race at Watkins Glen proved that having the fastest car doesn't guarantee a win. Terry Day reports. Speed and power have not been any problem for the new Corvette of Greg Pickett and co-driver Tommy Riggins. The number two machine shattered the Glen GTO qualifying mark to grab the pole and Pickett set a blistering pace early. The doubts about the vet have been of reliability and they are answered less than a third of the way into the 92 lap battle. Fuel system problems left Pickett stall on course several times. He nurses the Corvette back to the pits and gives way to Riggins, who doesn't get far before having to park for the day. Jack Baldwin's hopes of a win and the season points championship are lost due to rear end problems. Baldwin would return to the race, but finishes 26 laps down. Willie T. Ribs in the number 99 Celica Turbo takes the lead for good on lap 35. Teammate Chris Cord in the 98 car runs second the rest of the way, but never seriously threatens Ribs. Toyota's hopes for a top three sweep are dashed on lap 78 when Juan Fangio, who was co-driving with Dennis Asse, finds the tire wall in turn 11. Ribs cruises to his fourth win of the season, 57 seconds ahead of Cord. His second place finish gives Chris Cord the GTO Season Points Championship. From Watkins Glen International, Terry Day for ESPN Speed Week. At Watkins Glen, Dennis Asse returned for the first time since his accident early this year at Riverside. He underwent eight hours of constructive surgery to repair injuries to both feet and ankles. The left leg was crushed badly and bone from his hip was grafted. Dennis says he feels fine and is ready for more racing.